Hi everyone, it's been a while, but today we'll be going through part three of our Olo Made Easy video series. In this video, we'll be going through the P-shapes. So starting with our first P-shaped case here, we notice that the P is on the left side and there's a three by one bar on the right side. So for this case, this is actually a very straightforward case. The easiest way to do this case would be this algorithm here. So it starts with an F move, followed by a reverse sexy, and then end off with an F prime move. Another way to do this case would be to do a U2 so that you're holding the P kind of upside down. Same case as previously, but it can be done from this angle with the wide F move, followed by the regular sexy, and then finish off with a wide F prime. So moving on to the next P-shaped case, this one is actually the mirror image of the previous P-shaped case. And because it is a mirrored case, you can actually use the same algorithm, but with your left hand to solve this case as well. So for this case, the algorithm goes as follows. So you start with an F prime move, and then you follow that up with an inverse sexy with your left hand, and then you finish off with an F move. However, for those of you who don't like using your left hand for the algorithm, there is a right-handed algorithm that you can use instead. It is, however, a bit longer than the left-handed algorithm, but if you're more comfortable with your right hand, it might be worthwhile to learn this one instead. So it actually starts off like this. So R prime, U prime, followed by an inverse sledge on the front right corner. And then you undo the setup moves with U followed by R. All right, so now moving on to the third P-shaped case. This one differs from the previous two cases, as in it does not have a three by one bar on the side. So this would be one of the previous cases which did have the three by one bar. This one will not have a three by one bar. So it's a different case from the previous ones. For this case, because the yellow P is on the right side, it is actually the right-handed version of the algorithm. And so the algorithm is actually fairly straightforward as well. So as I mentioned, it is done with your right hand and the algorithm is shown as follows. So it starts off with an R prime, U prime, followed by an F. Following that, it is an inverse sexy. At the end here, it's followed up by an F prime, and an R. And final case for the P shapes would be this one here. It is once again the mirror image of the previous one that I shown. And so when you hear mirror image, you can immediately think you can do it the same algorithm with your left hand. So in this case, same as the algorithm that I shown previously, but just done with your left hand. So it goes like this. However, once again, if you don't like using your left hand for these algorithms for whatever reason, I will show an alternative algorithm that you can do with your right hand instead. So once again, in this case, it is a bit longer than the left-handed algorithm, but for those of you who are more comfortable with your right-handed ones, then it might be worthwhile learning this one instead. So with this case, you wanna hold it, do a U2, so you wanna hold the P upside down on the right side. Following that, you wanna do a slice layer move like this followed by a sexy on the right, and then start off with a sledge, the first three moves of a right sledge, and then finally you wanna do a wide F prime, and that solves that case. All right, so that's it for the Olo algorithms for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. I will do my best to answer those. And feel free to message me on social media. Links to those will also be in the video description. Please like the video if you learned something new and make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more similar videos in the near future. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.